Hey, it's me, Steve. It is June 23rd, 2017. 73 degrees Fahrenheit out. It's Georant time. Now, there's one or two I can do here. I can do this one, which is going to be pretty lengthy. And I've had a long day on the road, and I don't feel like going through it. So I'm getting a little tired. I'll start trailing off and rambling like Troy does. So instead, I'm going to make this a short one since I live in Indiana and I was in Indianapolis today, which is near where what I'm going to show you, show and tell time, uh, north a little bit. But here we have Aegea. I pulled this, not this, it's January 2016. I pulled this from Henderson Creek in southwest Indiana. It's a public creek. It's an awesome creek. It's right off the road. And 95% plus of the pebbles and cobbles found in that creek are geodes. As you can see, this one is closed. The exact formation is not determinable. There are limestone outcrops in the cut banks of the creek, but that doesn't mean this came from that outcrop because um, the outcrop itself tends to have a lot smaller geodes. But this geode here is definitely encased in quartz. It's a quartz geode, okay? Well, how do I know it's a geode? I hope you can hear this. Did you hear that rattling? That means there's loose crystals inside. That means this thing is hollow. Um, so I can only speculate as to what crystals are inside. I suspect quartz, since this thing is made up of quartz, but it may also be uh, quartz with a combination of calcite. Um, since you can hear the rattling and the loose crystals, I am not going to open this with a hammer. I never recommend you open a geode with a hammer um, because crystals tend to shatter upon impact. Um, this will eventually, if I want to, it'll have to be cut open. Um, but I just wanted to show you that because I have a lot of these from Southwest Indiana, most closed or only partially open. Let me show you a partial open one later, which has, uh, it's kind of green on the outside. There's got some green clay on the outside and on the inside. It's, uh, it's got red blobs of chalcedony, uh, but it's only got a little hole in it where you can look through. It's about this size. Um, that one's really pretty too. I, I, like I said, I want to cut these open so bad. But anyway, that's my rant for today, and I hope you learned something.